beat. Ooh. We dedicate your temple like the Maccabees. Ooh. Like the Maccabees. Ooh. Like the Maccabees. Ooh. Like the Maccabees. Like the Maccabees. Lenient for you priests. Like the Maccabees. Like the Maccabees. Like the Maccabees. Lenient for you priests. As me being your brother, I got to show you what you're going on. Read what you got. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. You, know you believe in the Bible, right? Yeah. I'll bring it. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So we can't shave our head bald. Can't get the Michael Jordan. Can't get the Tyrese. So if you see Michael Jordan with a bald head, don't shave your head like that. Right. God said don't do that. Right. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Shave off the what? Corners of their beard. So I'm gonna ask you a question, brother. Can you grow a beard, or is that all you can grow? That little no, mustache. No. That's all you can. Or can it grow out some more? Yeah. It grow out some more. Okay. So you, in in doing that, that mars your beard. Right. Right. Because yes. some people can only grow that little bit. You understand right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So in that, that's a law that you're breaking right now. No, that's right. right. Prove it. It's, it's Indians only. They don't grow. Oh, I'm not saying no. I'm not knocking about that you can't grow as much as I can grow. You just said you're Indian, right? Yeah, but. No. I might say, what's your religion? We don't have no religion. Give me Sirach 11 17. Bring it out. Oh. We're not out here for religion. Religion has caused this. That's right. This is what religion has done. Right. Following Islam, Christianity, white man Jesus has put us in Sophia. Right. We are here bringing the commandments back to our people to get us out of here. That's right. Because Christianity or religion doesn't teach you to keep God's commandments. Right. That's why I asked you earlier, have you ever heard of come as you are? Because that was preached in the church to right. But when you come as you are, you stay as you are. Right. When you stay as you are, your children stay as they are. Right. 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 Levit uh, so I'm going to show you what... My soul, quote unquote, religion is. I'm gonna show you right here. Okay. According to the scripture. Okay, that way, that way you know it's coming okay, from the Bible. Here we go. So Law, chapter 11 and verse 17. The gift of the Lord remaineth with the godly. 17 11. 17 11. Here we go. My bad. So Law, chapter 17, verse 11. Besides this, he gave them knowledge. He gave us knowledge, right? Read. And the law of life for inheritance. We don't have no religion. He gave us the laws of God. Yeah, right. 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 When Jesus Christ was here on this earth, he wasn't preaching Christianity. Right. right. He wasn't preaching Baptist. Right. He wasn't preaching Methodist. Right. He wasn't preaching Episcopalian, Pentecost. Right. Right. Pentecost is a day of the Lord. That's right. right. That's right. Baptist was just the name that they gave his cousin. Right. 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 That's all it was, brother. <laughs> Unless, unless you can, unless me and you dialoguing, unless you can show me in the Bible where Jesus Christ preached Christianity, I put this mic down and I say, we're wrong and we're wrong out of here. Right. If you can show me in the Bible where Jesus Christ preached don't Christianity. Don't say it. Right. So my question is, why do people follow it? Bring it out. Bring it out. If you, can, you can find Christian in the Bible. Right. You cannot find Christianity in That's the Bible. Right. Right. That's right. right. So why do people follow Christianity? Bring it out. That's a question. Because I'm going to say something. A lot of the organizations that we follow, whether it's Greek, Mason, and all up in the levels, they are Christian-based organizations. Yeah, that's right. Right. Meaning, hold up that. One more time again. If they're Christian-based, and they're not teaching the commandments of God, they follow this man. Right, right. there. Right. That's what they follow. That's what they follow, brother. And the Bible says we're not supposed to do that. So you understand that? You understand why, why we say we don't have no religion? I, 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 I got the halfway. I, I, okay. I'm, I'm halfway with you. So, I'm, I'm halfway with you. My question is this, okay, I, and I got something for her because she's out here too, okay? I'm halfway with you. All right, I want you to, I want y'all guys to listen to this right here. Y'all hear, can hear the Bible coming out, right? Yes, sir. Y'all can hear it coming out, okay. Read this law right here. I want to see, do you love God? Yes. Give me John 14, 15 right quick. Hold what you got. John 14, 15. Who here love Jesus? You love Jesus? You love Jesus? Yeah. What about you, bro? All right. Here we go. Read it. John chapter 14 and, four, and verse 15. Break it out. If ye love me, keep my commandments. So Jesus Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Right? So now, I'm going to give a commandment, and I'm going to see if you love Jesus. Read that. 
First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Bring it up. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So your head is who? Christ. Christ, right. And the head of the woman is the man. Who is the woman's head? The man. Read. And the head of Christ is God. The head of Christ is God. So even Christ got a head. Read. Every man pray or prophesy, having his head covered, dishonored his head. Who is your head? Christ. So while the Bible's coming out, you're hearing the spirit of prophecy. It says that whoever has his head, what? Covered, dishonored his head. What are you supposed to do with your hat right now? While the Bible's coming out. Take it off. You gonna take it off? Take it off. Oh, pray, pray. That's, that's not being taught in Christianity. That's simple law. I've, I've never heard that in the church. Have you ever heard that in the church? Have you ever heard that? No. So let's say about you, little sis. Okay? That little paper open up. Okay? So I'm going to show you, see if you want to do something. Watch this. Read. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Uh -huh. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonors his head. Uh -huh. But every woman that prayeth or pro prayeth or prophesies with her head uncovered. So little sis, whenever you hear this Bible coming out and somebody reading it, and you got your head uncovered, meaning you don't have something over top of your head, read. Dishonoreth her head. So while the Bible coming out, you got to put something on your head, over your head. So put that piece of paper over your head. Not you. Just her. Not you. Because she a girl. That's what girls supposed to do. That's what women supposed to do. That's right. right. So that's the order. The point where we're out here is to teach our people the laws of God. Right. right. Okay? So before I say that, you have any questions? Go ahead. You answer. Okay. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.